So does your grass look like this right about now? Or does it look like this? Well, no need to worry. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to water your grass. Let's go. So the first thing that you're going to need is a sprinkler. This is the one that I choose to use to water my lawn. You can use any type of sprinkler that you want. You can go to any big box store. They have plenty of sprinkles there that can be able to fit and match your budget. The next thing that you're going to need is these sprinkler slash rain gauges. Now I got these things off of Amazon. These things cost me like 11 bucks. It was very easy to purchase. As you see at the bottom of it, it has a spike. You insert these things into your lawn and when you run your sprinklers, it's going to fill this cup up. As you see on the right hand side, it has in half an inch, an inch, and when it fills all the way up to the top, it's an inch and a half. This is going to be easy for you to be able to use to know exactly how much water is getting in your lawn. Now you can use one of these as well. This is an orbit timer. You can get these at your local big box stores. I have a video that shows you how to work one of these models. The only thing you have to do is just watch that video just in case if you get confused. The only thing that you do is just cut your water on, set what time that you want this to water your grass and what time you want it to shut off. And that's it. You don't have to lift a finger. You don't have to do anything else. Just set it and forget it. After you have all of these items, only thing that you do is just get your sprinkler, go ahead and drag your water hose, hook everything up, get your measuring cups, go ahead and start placing them strategically around your lawn. After you do that, you cut your water on, let it water your grass, and then you will be set. Now, one thing that I would solicit for you all to get is this, and this is important. This is what we call a rain gauge. Now this right here, I did get from a big box store. As you see, it just spikes into the ground. They actually have some that you can hang on your fence. You can hang on a post. This all different shapes and sizes. But not only does it tell you what the temperature is, it also will tell you how much water that you're getting when it does rain. How it puts me ahead of the game is this. It's already rained this week. We've already received a half inch of water. So that right there is going to let me know that for the remainder of the week, I only need another half inch to be able to get my inch of water per week. Now, if I didn't have this thing, I wouldn't know exactly how much water that my grass is getting from the rain. It definitely will help you out in the summertime whenever you are getting those flushes of rain and you need to know exactly how much water that you're getting this right here will be able to tell you so when you use these you only need to use these things once use it once if you know that it's going to get you in half an inch of water in an hour then you know you need to water an hour on tuesday and then you need to water an hour on saturday especially if you're not getting any rain throughout the week since we've already gotten a half an inch of water early in the week from the rain that means i only need to water my grass one time watering it one time is going to be able to give me a half an inch of water from now and then a half an inch of water that i've gotten from the rain that rained earlier this week which gives me an inch of water a week now if you're getting that blistering heat like we have been getting all summer then you want to bump it up to maybe like an inch and a half try to give your line a little bit more water so that it can be able to survive this summer heat this one we had and half inch of water you see that we've got a half inch of water from that sprinkler now certain sprinklers will put out more water than others that doesn't mean you need to go buy a different sprinkler you just need to know exactly how much water that you're getting so in this one here we have a half inch of water let's see how much we have in the other one
when it rains at nighttime, you can't do anything. But what you can do is control the controllables. Control what time you are watering it. And the reason why you want to water in the morning time is because you want the sun to be able to evaporate the water that is on the grass. Whenever we are in a disease window, if that water sits on that grass blade at nighttime, that's when a fungus will start to be present. I normally water at five o'clock in the morning. That way it's done and it's over with. No kids are getting wet by any sprinklers in the morning time. Just try to water as early as you can as possible forever how long you need to water. So that's about it folks. Only thing that you wanna do is make sure that you're giving your lawn an inch of water per week. It doesn't matter if you're getting some of that water from the rain or if you're getting some of that water from your sprinkler. Make sure you're getting at least an inch of water per week. Now, everybody's been having a hot summer this summer. It's been a drought everywhere. Whenever you're going through extended periods of just nothing but sun and no rain, you want to try to bump that up a little bit more. As you see, I got a half an inch of water using my measuring cups. That's one of the best ways that I know that you can be able to measure your water. Make sure that you get you a rain gauge so you can be able to know exactly how much water that you're getting whenever it does rain. That's pretty much about it, and I hope that this video has helped you all. Y'all have a blessed one, and I'll see y'all in the next one.